Hey everybody, Chris here. Uh, another week, uh, another bunch of thrift store and yard sale finds. Uh, this week could have been one of my best weeks, but um, had a little bit of trouble with one of the yard sales. Didn't end up uh, getting everything I wanted to. I'll, uh, I'll get to that last. But um, otherwise, pretty uh, pretty great group stuff. Um, I'll get it, uh, right into it. Um, so first, uh, sometime Friday, Grabbed a Game Boy Advance SP with charger. Works great at uh, Savers, twelve ninety nine. Uh, still going for about forty five, fifty bucks with the charger. Um, picked up a white DSI at um, Savers, at a different Savers for fourteen ninety nine. Um, has a few scratches, but um, doesn't really doesn't really affect play once it's on though. So um, yeah. Uh, around uh, forty-five, fifty dollars for this as well. Um, get to this stack thrift store games. Uh, picked up Star Wars Battlefront Two for PSP. It's in shrink wrap. Uh, shrink wrap. I think it goes for uh, around forty to fifty bucks. Um, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, I think I paid eight dollars for it. Um, also picked up X Men. I think this was two ninety nine or three ninety nine for Sega Genesis. Uh, picked this up by accident. Um, I met. I know it's uh, X Men two for Sega Genesis that uh, is actually kind of worth it. Um, but I think with the case, it has the manual as well. Um, tested works fine. Uh, I'll probably still get like ten bucks out of it. Um, but if I bought the card alone, I wouldn't have got anything. Um, picked up Dragon Ball Z Budokai, uh, Tenkachi 2 for Wii, um, it was five ninety nine, which is, uh, it's a bit much, but, uh, it's complete, it looks pretty good, um, goes for about 15 bucks. Um, picked up uh, another copy of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, um, I think this was a Goodwill. Uh, looks uh, perfect, which is great. Um, it was Goodwill. I think it was two ninety nine, uh, minus my ten percent card. Um, pretty good. Already sold. Uh, I think eighteen, nineteen dollars. Um, so I have that Xbox now. So I, I just kind of started picking up a random Xbox games. Um, got uh, big, big bumpin' and Sneak King, the two Burger King games at uh, Goodwill. I think I, I definitely probably overpaid, yeah, two ninety nine uh, minus the 10%, but uh, I easily could have found them for cheaper, but they had, um, they had codes for free days of Xbox Live Gold, um, so I figured I would just uh, string together Xbox Gold by uh, codes I find in boxes. Um, but yeah, uh, probably got a few achievements in these. Got this uh, big tub of Play-Doh. It's three ninety nine. It's uh, it's still sealed. Um, they're going online for like eighty bucks, but I think that might just be the rarity of it. I don't think they uh, they make this size anymore. Um, I'll probably get around forty fifty dollars for it. Um, seems more more accurate. Picked up uh, Polaroid One Step. Um, can't quite remember. Probably Savers. Uh, probably three ninety nine. Um, tested works good. Uh, seems this is uh this is stuck around thirty dollars, like twenty nine thirty. Uh, probably around Christmas it'll come back up. Um, I was still consistently selling them a couple months ago. Um, I think I'm I'm just gonna wait off on uh on uh listing it for under thirty. Um. Cause I, I definitely know they will sell for more. Um, I got a Polaroid Sun. Uh, it was a dollar ninety nine at Savers. Missing the eyepiece, uh, which isn't that big of a deal. Came in um, came in this black case over there, which is actually for a uh, kind of the square shooter models or the the color pack uh, versions of the Polaroid camera. Um, it came with like a flash and a few empty uh, film tabs. Uh, not really sure why this was in there, but, um, yeah, $1.99, which is pretty good. Um, I picked up, a uh, Polaroid 1-600 at, uh, Salvation Army sometime, uh, Friday, I believe. 
Um, it was three ninety nine. Uh, actually, I think it was a uh, a dollar something. Cause I think it was a uh, it was half off day. Um, it's got like a fair amount of scratches, but it, it's I tested it. It works um, pretty good. Uh, these these have gone down a little bit recently. Uh, they're also hovering around thirty dollars. Uh, around Christmas, it'll probably jump back up to fifty. So I'll uh, I'll probably park it around thirty five and. Um, if it sells for 35 that's good, but uh, I, I wouldn't mind waiting till Christmas as well. I um, actually got the Saturday to yard sale. Uh, there was another camera, the other camera I couldn't get to work. Uh, but about two for six dollars. Um, this one works fine. It's another Polaroid Silver Express. Um, I guess the value in these have gone down a bit. It was around 50 but I think now it's down with all the other Polaroid cameras around 30 35 um, Good condition though. Uh, let's see. Picked up uh, another Power Rangers weapon. Uh, I think it's from Lightspeed Rescue. Uh, it's a gun. It turns into an axe. Um, took the battery out. It usually makes noises. Um, already sold for thirty-five dollars. Uh, can't believe the luck I'm having with these uh, random Power Ranger weapons I'm finding. Uh, I did see one at a yard sale Saturday, but I ended up leaving it. It was. Uh, it looked like a staff probably from Dino Thunder, I would guess. Um, but yeah, 35 bucks. Um, works fine. Looks good. You um, get a bag of toys. Um, 3 dollars I bought it for uh, Optimus there, uh, or Optimus Primal from Beast Wars. Uh, he usually sells around 20 bucks. Uh, he doesn't have his weapons, which uh, is usually the case. Um, also came the Shrek, which I'll probably just redonate or something. And, uh, looks like a Burger King Skylanders toy. Um, yeah, Optimus Primal, though. Uh, always looking out for Beast, uh, Beast Wars stuff. Which is why I also grabbed, uh, was the Transmetal Dinobot. Um, good condition. All the pieces are there. Uh, probably not any weapons. Uh, I don't see any weapons on him. But um, looks like the full figure at least. Uh, I paid a dollar forty nine at Savers. Um, I think he'll probably go for somewhere in the ten to twenty dollar range, which is pretty good. Um, I saw some other Transformers figures, but uh, I'm not too familiar with uh, the value of um, the newer Transformer stuff, and they looked like a lot of the new stuff. Um, so uh, I'll have to do a lot more research, but uh, I know Beast Wars usually usually most figures sell for at least ten dollars, uh, and the more popular ones like uh, Megatron and Optimus usually sell for a bit more, especially the uh, the big versions. Um, also picked up, I think it was dollar ninety nine. It's uh, Isaac Clark from Dead Space. Uh, no uh, no plasma cutter, but he uh, he lights up like that. Um, the value is kind of all over the place online. I'll probably end up uh, getting at least 30 bucks for them, though, because I don't think they make them anymore. Um, so, uh, I think from Dead Space 1, I believe, is this version. Uh, looks pretty cool. Um, if I had space, or if I had an office job uh, making games, I'd probably just keep them and put them on my desk. But uh, till that time comes, he's up for sale. Um, let's see, I'll go over these board games. Um, so that is Shadow Lord. I picked that for two ninety nine or three ninety nine at Sabres. Um, it's kind of like one of those old, uh, old adventure games, like D&D &D board game. But, uh, it's made by Parker Brothers. Um, you go for about 30 bucks. Um, I haven't counted all the pieces, but, uh... It didn't look too bad and on the inside, so I'm going to take the risk that it's all there. Um, picked up Alexander the Great, which uh, I believe is one of those Avalon Hill war games. Um, prices were kind of all over the place. Uh, I'm expecting uh, around $40, um, which isn't too bad. I think I paid two ninety nine for that. Uh, picked up Snorta. Which I used to pick up a lot of. They used to go around 45, 50 bucks when uh, they first discontinued the game. Uh, it's floating around 35 right now. Um, I'll probably get 35 for it. It's complete, which is great. Uh, it doesn't look like it was really played at all. 
Um, uh, copy of Taboo and the Shrink again. Uh, I sold the last one for 25. I'll probably get 25 for this one as well. Uh, I think I paid. It was 399 or 4.99 at Goodwill, and I had my discount, so it was 10% off that. Um, really cool find there is the Donkey Kong board game. Uh, not not that not that expensive. I think it's going for around 30 30 dollars. Uh, it's complete. Looks pretty good. Um, paid 2.99 or 3.99 for it. A uh, pretty good deal. Uh, picked up a copy of Munchkin. Uh, I think it was 2.99. At, uh, Savers. It's some random Savers. Uh, I didn't count the cards yet. Uh, it's... The, the box on the inside is just different. It's divided into four instead of this kind of, like, weird, uh... Weird V or U shape that it usually is. Um, Munchkin usually goes, uh, around 15 bucks. Um, got another Yahtzee, Folio, uh... Still going for, they're going around 30, 35 right now. Uh, used to go for around 50 a couple months ago, so it's kind of a shame that it's, it's down that much. Uh, but I only paid 2.99. Uh, the inside it's new. Uh, doesn't look like um, anyone used it at all, uh, which is great. Um, right there, that pile of stuff, that castle, uh, that's from um, Battlegrounds, Crossbow, and Catapults. Uh, I think I showed you guys a couple. Uh, boxes from that. I actually managed to use that bag of stuff to complete the boxes that I had that uh, weren't complete. Um, so I thought that was uh, that was a really great pickup. Uh, I have all this kind of extra stuff now. I'll either hold on to it or list it individually. Um, get a few bucks either way. Uh, paid five ninety nine. Well worth it. Uh, bring this up. Um, this is uh, Mario, Nintendo, uh, Dominoes. Um, I paid uh, probably probably two or three ninety nine at Savers. Um, last time I had it, uh, I think I sold it for around forty five or fifty. Uh, so it's it's gone down a little bit since then. Uh, I think it's around thirty thirty five. Um, pretty good though. Uh, they're all in there. It came with the instructions as well. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get on to uh, actually one more thrift store find. It's uh, WWF uh, Superstar Slam Wrestling Ring. Comes with um, comes with Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels. Uh, it's still sealed. Um, prices are kind of all over the place. Uh, I'll probably end up getting like thirty dollars somewhere over there. Um, I only paid two or three ninety nine. Uh, kind of a cool find though. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, it's all fine, uh, uh, let's just start with, uh, this PS2, I got this, um, got this at uh, first yard sale I hit on Saturday for $8, came with one controller, uh, it's kind of a little dusty, but it'll probably end up working, um, but I did end up getting all these controllers and two of those Namco, uh, plug-and-play games for, uh, for free, because, uh, the people had just kind of given up on their yard sale after about, like, two hours. They were just giving their stuff out. Um, we ended up buying, uh, painting off them, because, uh, we didn't want to just take all their stuff for free. Um, but, uh, yeah, everything, it looks good. Uh, always glad to have extra controllers. Um, got an N64. I actually got this at Savers. This is twelve ninety nine. It was marked at twenty nine ninety nine. Um... But it was supposed to come with two controllers, and the guy said uh, they were probably stolen. So we marked it down to twelve ninety nine for me, which is great. Uh, it comes with the expansion pack, which is always a bonus. Um, yeah, pretty good. All right, uh, back to yard sale stuff. Um, stopped at uh, some thrift, uh, not thrift store. Sorry, uh, stopped at one yard sale. Asked the lady if she had any games. They listed off a bunch of stuff. Uh, that I was looking for, and then she just kind of asked what I meant by that. Uh, and I just said, like, PlayStation, Xbox, and she's like, oh, I'll go get my son. He came out with a big stack of PS2 games. This is the only thing I grabbed. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, the PS2, the GameCube, and the Xbox version uh, go for about 20 bucks. Um, 
the PlayStation 1 and the PC version, uh, they're not really worth anything. Um, it seems like this is the only Harry Potter game still worth anything. Uh, some of the PS3 games probably still go for about 12 bucks because uh, achievements are easy for them, so uh, people that uh, want to get 100% in those fast, uh, they'll buy them up, so the value's still a little high. Um, Hollywood Video, former rental, but the disc looks perfectly fine. Um, so I got that, um, then it came out with some Xbox games. I grabbed uh, Crackdown and uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter just because I wanted some Xbox games to play. Uh, I paid five dollars for those three games, which isn't bad because I'll make twenty off of um, Harry Potter, and then I'll just I'll play these till I get bored of them. Uh, I don't think either of them is really worth anything, as you can see. Crackdown uh, one sold at GameStop for six bucks, and the, who knows that was probably years ago. Um, I stopped at another another yard sale in the area. I think I paid three dollars. I got the Tomb Raider trilogy. Um, I'll probably end up playing it. I liked the new one. I know these old ones aren't uh, aren't like the new one. Um, they're closer to the the original game, which I didn't really care for uh, the controls at least. But um, I'll probably give it a go. Um, yeah, so I paid three dollars for this, and then uh, as I was walking away, she was like, "Oh, do you want this as well?" And I said, "Uh." I don't really want to give you any money for it. Uh, she's like, I'm not going to ever play it. Just take it. Uh, so everybody dance. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Um, I'll probably give it a go just to get a couple easy trophies. But um, I don't think I'll invest too much time in that. I'm not really sure how much either of these are worth right now. Um, if this was selling at GameStop for 18 bucks, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's around 18 or lower right now. Um... Yeah, uh, so then I uh, stopped at another uh, yard sale at an apartment complex. Um, this said $40, their best offer on it. I offered 25 and she was instantly said yes. It's a TI-84 Plus graph and calculator. Works well. Doesn't look like she really used it. Um, picked up a couple other graph and calculators this week, but they already sold. So uh, this is the week you want to buy graph and calculators because... Uh, next week and the week after school starts for most places and uh, they need these I already sold it uh, 80 bucks um, even the older even the older graphing calculators I was picking up a lot of TI-82's uh, as you can see in a lot of my videos and uh, even them they were going for 20 bucks super fast um, all the TI-80 I think I picked up a TI-83 plus earlier this week as well that's already gone um, yeah, so, graphing calculators, uh, definitely pick them up. Uh, this is the week you want to get rid of them. Um, and then last, uh, is this pile over here. So, I showed up to this place, asked if they had any video games, the lady said uh, her son had a ton. Um, he had like three or four crates worth, and he was looking to get rid of them. Uh, but I guess he was asleep, or, or he was inside, he just got home. And uh, she said... Uh, he, he he was like looking over the value and then he was gonna be a while and that if I, I left my number um, that uh, she would get back to me about it but uh, I was up in New Hampshire uh, visiting my girlfriend around where she lives and uh, I told her that I wasn't really from there and that uh, I wouldn't mind looking now um, so I think that the husband went and got um, got the kid by kid, I mean 20-something-year-old guy. He came out, and I, I told him I was looking for N64 stuff, and I was looking for uh, any other kind of stuff you might have. So he went inside looking for stuff, and then the parents ended up... I, I guess they owned these two houses next to each other. They ended up um, coming out with crates and crates of systems. Um, it seemed he, like he had everything N64 and up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was going through it. He had a ton of great stuff. I only had $40 left on me, though, which was the problem. Um, the kid ended up coming out with a, a giant Ziploc bag full of Ziploc, uh, Ziploc, uh, N64 stuff. Um, I was going through it. It was, uh, it was a really great, um, pile of stuff. I was just, like, I was making a pile, uh, hoping for the best. He said he was looking for 
uh, at least three to seven dollars per game, depending on the game. And uh, yeah, I, I was looking at the systems and stuff. I said I could go to an ATM and get more money, but um, his mother just kept uh, kind of telling him that he should probably look everything up. Um, he didn't really seem motivated. I guess he'd been saying that he was going to do that for a while now, but he hadn't been doing it. Um, the dad was just kind of like, just sell the stuff now, make some money already. Um, so, uh, I had this giant pile. I offered him $40. I think it was about, uh, it was about 11 or 12 games plus this Game Boy. And I, t I told him I'd come back with more money, but, um, uh, we ended up haggling down. I only ended up getting this small pile. I think I paid $40 for this small pile. Um, and they ended up packing up all the stuff. I think, uh, I think, uh, four or five, I guess, video game vendors had been by, uh, at least that's what the, the mom said, that, um, they were going to contact and sell, sell, sell it to them or sell it themselves or something. But, um, so, uh, probably if I ever got back there, it would probably all be gone. Um, but this is what I managed to salvage out of it. Sorry about the long story, but, um, this is what I managed to salvage, uh, 40 bucks, um, pretty good amount of stuff, or pretty good quality stuff, at least not a lot of stuff, um, out of this I did leave behind, I think, Yoshi's Island, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, 007, uh, a couple other really good games, but, uh, this is what I managed to get, $40, uh, first a Game Boy Color, um, looks pretty good, works fine. Uh, I left behind literally every other version of a Game Boy. Uh, it's kind of a shame. I really wish I could have given it to them to sell me the rest. Um, then I got Mario Golf. Um, I believe most of these games came with uh, came with the manuals. Uh, so Mario Golf, uh, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Mario Party 2, and Super Mario 64. Uh, plus the strategy guide and the manuals for uh, everything but Mario 64. Uh, yeah, awesome, awesome bunch of stuff. Mario Golf, 14 bucks. Uh, Mario 64, 20, 25 bucks. Uh, Mario Party 2, I think, is floating around 50 right now, which is great. I think Majora's Mask, uh, the holographic one, is also floating around 50. And uh, Ocarina of Time is around 30 bucks right now. I'll probably get a little over because the label is in pretty good condition and it comes with the manual. So yeah, actually, if you have the manual, it's basically $5 added to uh, most of these valuable games. Probably only a couple bucks to Mario Golf. But um, yeah, he had a ton of other stuff too. I know he probably had, uh, probably had a ton of Pokemon games for Game Boy. He probably had a, he probably had a ton of good PlayStation stuff. He had an Xbox. Um... I guess he just kind of stopped playing games a couple years ago, and he, he split these crates up between the two houses. Um, I'm sure he'll end up making a decent amount of money from whoever does buy it from him, or if he decides to sell it himself. Um, but uh, yeah, I was glad to just get this stuff at, at least. Um, the mother seemed to almost want him to not sell me anything, um, but he it seemed like he wanted money, so... So anyway, yeah, I got this stuff, pretty good. Could have been, could have been great. Could have been another 10 minutes on to this video, but uh, yeah, oh well. Um, did the best I could. Uh, got a pretty good amount of stuff anyway. Um, pretty, pretty happy either way. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's everything this week. Um, pretty good group of stuff. Got a lot more stuff at thrift stores than I would have uh, guessed only, I think I went out two days, um, but yeah, uh, so like, like the video, subscribe, um, comment if you want, uh, feel free to share on, um, Facebook or Google Plus, um, Reddit, anywhere that, uh, anywhere you think, uh, people wouldn't mind, uh, taking a look at these videos and, uh, learning a little bit about the value of stuff you can get at, uh, yard sales and thrift stores, um, yeah, so uh, hopefully see everybody next week. Bye.